The following program is brought to you by Smoky Mountain Visitors Channel. The first barber chair around 1900. Mountain folk were masters at being multi-talented. They had to be to survive the mountain way of life. Harv Reagan was one such talented mountain man. He was a good husband, family man, a farmer, a rock mason, a basket weaver, a well-known furniture maker, and he played the fiddle on special occasions with other mountain artists. Harv Reagan was also known as the White Oak Flats Barber. White Oak Flats was later and still known to this day as Gatlinburg. Each Saturday he carried his barber chair, which he had made from mighty oaks, down from his farm at Roaring Fork to Ogle's store, which was located in the center of town. Harv set up on the front porch of Ogle's store, and each Saturday he was the town barber, charging five cents for his services. The seat of the chair was made of oak strips, which provide a sturdy seat to this day. Harv Reagan, the first official town barber, passed down his trade and love for barbering to his son-in-law, Arthur Ogle. Later, Harv's grandson, Hugh Ogle, became a barber. Altogether, Harv, Arthur, and Hugh, the grandfather, son-in-law, and grandson served as the town barbers in Gatlinburg for over 80 years.